Fuck the whole world. One of my favorite rap lines. Hey, the whole thing goes, fuck the whole world, finna catch a murder case. Believe that, or don't. Who the fuck am I gonna kill with a slingshot? <laughs> Who am I gonna kill with a slingshot? I'm doing, I, got my, I got my camera, I started my camera backwards, so fuck, I'm leaving like that. So you can look at my beautiful city. This fucking shithole. Look at my beautiful, majestic city as I walk down the block and talk to you this morning. And, uh, uh, I'm just out of my morning walk. I've had some thoughts in my head about some things that, uh, I have been talking to you, some of you, some of you about for a very long time. And the one thing I had in mind that pisses me the fuck off a lot is the arrogance and the ignorance of a fucking nigga. And that's the English speaking, the Spanish speaking, fucking stinking nigga. You know? Who, like, Overgrown fucking kids have no understanding for shit. But the world's gotta understand you. Police not supposed to wanna blow your motherfucking brains out on sight. Right? Because what your historical fucking position's been in this country was at the bottom of the fucking bottom. And we don't wanna move, ain't trying to move, ain't trying to go no fucking way. Not trying to do shit different than we've been doing for the last 150 years, basically. Basically. With some minor changes, but not very many. You cannot be a human being, whole and complete. And we can identify human families. You want to call them racist, whatever you want to call them, very, very easily. It's not rocket science. And again, you have to go back to a time prior to 1492, where you have a, the clearest image and picture of how human beings are supposed to live, the differences in all these different groups. Again, like the animals I show you in, in, in my, some of my videos, they didn't live alike, they didn't talk alike, they didn't dress alike, they didn't believe alike at all. Had no contact with each other. I'm talking about separation, well they were separated. By oceans, by mountains, by rivers, by whatever the fuck else. <clears throat> Then you can see what a naturally and normally functionally fucking human being is supposed to be, live like. And it's not what we have here with us today. You have a, a handful of super fucking parasites, sociopaths, psychopaths running your fucking life. And you don't even acknowledge that shit. You don't, you don't, even, you, you don't like, like some kind of fucking dumb farm animal, you don't acknowledge it. You don't understand the kind of danger your fucking children and don't care. All you want to do is look cuter than the next fucking stinking ass motherfucking nigga. They'll all be somewhere picking cotton or chopping sugar cane or something or dead. That's all that matters. Then beyond that you want to fuck with me about it and think I shouldn't want to knock your motherfucking brains out. And watch you again suck your last fucking breath. So again, fuck the whole world finna catch a murder case. Anyway. This is what I was thinking about this morning. As I'm walking down here trying to get my little morning exercise that I got to take here, some other shit. Still contemplating this drinking thing. My head is quiet. It's a little bit, I hear a little buzzing going on, but not too much. And so I'm contemplating motherfucking murder with a slingshot. <laughs> That's all I got is a slingshot. They hit the head with a motherfucking pipe or something. But motherfuckers will make you do this. They'll make you contemplate homicide on their motherfucking ass. Or oh, somebody looks like their motherfucking ass. I don't give a fuck. I'm not picky. I'll take what I can get. You know, I ain't no motherfucking professional hit man. Can't stop trying to hunt you down. I'll just get a motherfucker look like you and bust him in the motherfucking head. Think I give a fuck? Who what to? We're not to prove to a fucking English or Spanish speaking fucking nigga except I can make you drop dead. I can end your fucking worthless and useless life. And yes, you are worthless and fucking useless. Your excess fucking baggage on this planet. Grow the fuck up. You exist for one reason, to serve the white man. Be his fucking slave and servant. When you, you can no longer do that, then your ass gonna be out of here. But it's about to be now. Oh, they can they get they get you ready. Yeah, they just getting you ready, trying to see how you gonna move. Throw this little pandemic out there and see how you gonna react. They already predict how you gonna how you gonna you know you gonna you gonna fuck it up. 
So when they send that big one down to bust your, to take, to take your motherfucking, to, that, that, that literally rips your fucking lungs out, you'll be too stupid to recognize it and react to it properly. I already know this. So, you know, I have, again, I'm, I'm just flashing back the shit that's happened over my motherfucking life with a fucking nigga, Spanish speaking, any speaking fucking stinking nigga, you know, want to try to explain to me any fucking thing about life. You're not qualified. You're somebody else's fucking pet. You're somebody else's property. Another man owns you. Again, grow the fuck up. You're a failure as a fucking human being. Man, how can you, how can, again, how can you be a success as a, a, a man and a failure as a human being at the same time? And when another motherfucker decides whether you live or die, whether you eat or don't eat, you're a failure as a fucking human being. You're no longer a human being. You're some kind of fucking farm animal. You're some kind of fucking stupid fucking farm animal. At that point, you can tell yourself what the fuck you want. You can lie to yourself all you want and they come fuck with me about it. And again, ask me not to want to knock your motherfucking brains out your head. Which I'm very well capable of doing, believe it or not. Motherfucker, piece of shit. Here the motherfuckers that have been denied their humanity for the longest want to try to deny somebody else theirs. Here somebody's been taken for the fucking most, they want to take from somebody else. And you shouldn't be dead? Black, Spanish-speaking motherfucker, you shouldn't be dead? They shouldn't exterminate you off this motherfucker here? Because they have turned you and they have turned you into something and you turned yourself into some shit. That'd be better off dead. If the fucking facts be laid the fuck out. Are you talking that shit? And so I'm walking, I'm talking this morning. Just wanted to rant. Didn't have nothing in particular to talk about. So I figured, let me let me talk about one of my most favorite subjects. Niggas in their fucking shit. Niggas in their shit. And why and why the, the sad part, the thing, the thing about it is, it's not the, it's not the point that we're gonna die. The sad and the fucked up part about it is, that's where the fuck we belong in, is dead in our current state. What do you do? You eat, you sleep, this motherfucker. You shit, you piss, you fuck up, you suck up, you pollute up the fucking place. About to get ran the fuck over, know that. Fire trucks and shit rolling. Then you wanna sit on your fucking stinking ass and talk shit. Motherfuckers wanna die, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers want to die. They don't wanna live. And again, I say, I just don't know who, who, who some motherfuckers think they are. But I got to remind them, I don't know who you are. And I don't know who you want to be. But I let you know you ain't shit to me. And what you think and feel ain't shit to me, motherfucker. And what you think and feel ain't shit to me. You think? You've been taken. You've been had. You've been took. You've been raped. You've been enslaved. You've been fucked every kind of way but loose. And now you want to sit around and be this bad motherfucker did all that shit to you? Yeah, you ought to die. You ought to fucking die. You ought to suck your last motherfucking breath and drop dead. If you're not talking about building your own fucking nation, if you're not talking about producing for yourself, if you're not talking about separating yourself in every way possible from this, this, this sick and degenerate society, you'd be better off dead. Because they're about to kill you. <laughs> Told you that. I said that many, many times in the past. You may not want to move, but you're, you, but you're going to move, nigga. If you don't move, somebody going to move you. Don't know that. Sit your happy-go-lucky motherfucking black ass there and don't know that shit. You motherfuckers are not playing with you. They're tired of looking at you. They do everything they power to fucking get rid of you. That's why they put this motherfucker retarded Donald Trump in office. And then dropped that pandemic. They know he, he was gonna fuck it up. They knew motherfucker well he was gonna fuck it up and get you and, and fuck you up in the process. Look at all those projects. They had a, somebody was doing a video about the projects and coronavirus and the projects. And of course, man, like I say, them motherfuckers are gas chambers. You sit down here and wait for this fucking bus.
I done got most of the way down the way I was going to go. Walked about 20 blocks. So, I think that's sufficient enough walking. <sighs> I think I, don't, I can't turn this camera around while it's on, can I? No, I can't do that. I'm just going to try to turn it around, but I can't do it. I fucked around and it's always, it's always flipped the other way. I was in such a big fucking rush to make a video that I didn't flip it around, you know, to face me. But I could do it. Hey, I could do it, couldn't I? Hey, there you go. Hey, there's a good looking fellow. Talking about killing motherfuckers early in the morning. You know, waiting for this motherfucking bus and going out here. And I'm, I really was thinking about not doing this, but, uh, Fuck it, I'm down here now. Is the bus coming? That's that's a fire truck. I can't, I don't even know what time. I think that bus supposed to be here at uh, another, about another five minutes. <sighs> so I'm gonna talk for another five minutes. <clears throat> okay, I got a mask up. My mask and shit. Keep that on me. And get ready. To get down here and uh get this booze. Basically, what I'm doing is some lottery tickets. You know. I'm gonna get some, I need to get some shit for lunch, too. i tell you one motherfucking thing. My fucking weight, man. That shit is, that shit is um, I don't understand it. Because that, that shit saying it's going down. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm down to two, 297. That's a full fucking, what? Uh, let's see. 303. Seven pounds. Just the last time I showed you guys, I believe I showed you guys my um my scale. And I don't know how the fuck I did that. Cause I've been eating my ass off on the job basically. I'll tell you the truth. I told you I had me I had two stuffed pork chops last night. You know, that shit is full of salt. And uh that caused my head to start ringing. It was ringing, it was kinda ringing this morning. But I dropped I dropped one of those um What's that shit? Uh, I forgot. Hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus and uh, what's that berry? Hawthorn berry. Yeah, hawthorn berry. Pill. And it, and it quieted it down pretty good. Like right now. It's pretty quiet. I'm going to get some more of that. Um, I think I'm going to give me a bottle of that juice. Uh, matter, matter of fact, I'll pick a couple more bottles of that. I think I'm just going to use that. I think I'm going to cut the pineapple out. You know, I'm just going to cut the, I'm, I'm going to cut the pineapple and just use the juice. Water it down, see how that works. Because it does work. You know, it does work. If it gets some fresh cranberries, I'd do that. But that pineapple is kind of, you know, I don't know. It's not that it's expensive, it's just what it takes to process that shit. It's just, you got to cut it up and put it in the thing and all that bullshit. I'm going to see if I can cut that. I got one in my, I got one in, in I got one now. Um, I'm going to try it, try that, try the juice without the, um, without the pineapple and see how that, see what, how that works out. This fucking bus is about to show up. I know it is. I'm way down the fucking block from the bus stop. I'm at the fucking run. I don't want to do it. It's at eight, I think it said 8:38. I'm 9:38. So let me get, get a little closer to this bus stop. This motherfucker show up and leave me hanging. I had one. I had a motherfucker pass me by in the rain, man. Come from work. I fucked around and went down to this uh, another bus stop. Like I moved the bus stop down because I want to, you know, walk a little bit, kill a little time. Got down there, this motherfucker passed me right the fuck up. Come to find out, I don't know why they do this stupid shit. You got two buses that's supposed to stop on that stop. The blue line and 19, right? I was waiting for the, I was waiting for the blue the uh, blue line. Well, come to find out, on that side, in that direction, on that particular stop, the blue line doesn't stop there. The 19 stops there. But on the other side, Directly on the other side, both the blue line and the 19 stop over there. What kind of shit is that? Tell me if that makes any fucking sense at all. Absolutely none. But this is the city that I chose to live in, so I guess I got to try to live with this shit. Yeah, I'm making plans for my birthday. I'm going I'm to have, have a pretty serious birthday bash, man, for myself. Going back to the hotel. Plan to spend four days in the hotel. And uh, what the fuck is this? Why I just get my pot? Oh, I know what that is. Four days in the hotel and shit, partying, eating my ass off, drinking my ass off, making videos my ass off. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have me a good time. I'm having me a nice blast, man. Uh, this shit should be cleared out of here by then. At least for the summertime, it might be gone. Should be gone. It's coming back in the fall, though. Just like any other any other uh, flu, it'll be back. They say I'll be back. This motherfucker will be back. And so, what's going on here, my camera? I'm good. Wait for this motherfucking bus to show up. I can't check the time. For me to check the time, I gotta cut, cut my phone off. If I cut my phone off, that means uh, y'all can't get this knowledge. You know? Fuck the whole world. I'm finna catch a murder case. Fuck the whole world. Because I got to prove something to, to, a, to a fucking human turd. I got to prove something to a turd in a fucking toilet bowl. That's qualified to be somebody's fucking judge. A motherfucker that shouldn't even exist. And be better off fucking dead. I got to prove something to you. Okay, I'll prove something. I'll prove something to you. I can knock your motherfucking brains out your head. I can knock your fucking worthless brains out and do the world a fuck. They ought to give me a fucking medal. I ought to get a prize. Motherfucker. The Spanish speaking piece of fucking shit. Black motherfucking hard headed son of a rotten fucking welfare recipient, government cheese sucking whole stinking bitch. Fuck you. With some 22, some 9mm, some 223 motherfucking bullets right up your motherfucking ass to the back of your fucking head. Like the fucking rabbit dog you are. Have nothing, want nothing, ain't trying to do shit. Happy being at the bottom of the fucking barrel and then want to fuck with me about it. Making yourself feel better about being a fucking stinking nigga. Then wanna tell me I gotta accept your shit. You'll accept some bullets in your ass. You'll accept some bullets directly in your motherfucking ass. That's what the fuck that'll be. Give a fuck. Prove something to a fucking stinking nigga, a dirty ass, a, a Spanish speaking, an English speaking or a Spanish speaking fucking stinking nigga. Put either one of you dirty motherfuckers. You ought to be somewhere either picking cat and chopping sugar cane. In Puerto Rico, some fucking way, you motherfucker with a big straw hat in here singing fucking Spanish spirituals. Where the fuck y'all did when y'all was over in that motherfucker? The fuck out my face. You're the white man's trained fucking stinking dog. Man your ass. Again, how can you be a success as a man and a failure as a human being at the same time? And you a failure, motherfucker, because you speak Spanish. Stinking, and you ain't from no fucking Spain. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, the, the language of your, of your slave master. Lord, the fucking nigga. Strutting around like you like you got some fucking power. And about as power as a fucking piece of wet toilet paper, you motherfucker. Fuck how much heart you got? My pet dog got a lot of heart. He's still my fucking pet. But fuck how much heart he got? The fuck out of here. Get tired of that shit. Now it's the all coming to a head now. It's about to all come to a fucking end. And it should. Get you the fuck up out of here. No nigga. You're not gonna sit on your stinking fucking ass for another two or three hundred years. Sitting around bullshit. I'm going to get an edge location. Get me a good old job. And uh, we're going to get the fuck out of here. You can't figure out where you were before you were enslaved. You might as well commit suicide. Kill yourself for these motherfuckers kill you. Because they have every intention to do just that. Believe that shit or don't. Believe that or don't. She grind these motherfucking babies out a mile a fucking minute. They have no fucking future. In reality, try to look cuter than the next worthless motherfucker. So I go get a jobby. How many jobs did they have in, 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 in uh, Mexico prior to Columbus? What kind of jobs they have? How many people were employed in Mexico before Columbus? They didn't have jobs. They work for the culture. They work for the culture. People in the rainforest, same thing. Business people living in the rainforest. In grass huts. In harmony and balance with their fucking environment. Didn't know what a European was. Didn't need a European. Didn't want to be a fucking European for shit. All natural. But you don't want that. You want this. That means you're addicted. You're, 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 you're a junkie. Why? Because you want something you can't produce for yourself. You have a need for something you can't produce for your fucking self. Another man's producing for you. But you tell me you a man. I say you a fucking failure. I say you a failure as a human being. They don't explain to me about shit. All you can do is to beg me, again, to do you and the world a fucking favor by knocking your motherfucking brains out your head. I'm not trying to be done. I'm trying to live my fucking life. I don't sit around trying to pick and poke and fuck with nobody. I know I'm not qualified to be nobody's fucking judge. 
I'm out of my fucking business. Don't talk, try to talk no shit. Because I know, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. What any other motherfucker can do. Now, you can doubt that if, if you want to, motherfucker. Doubt it if you want to hear. And see where the fuck you wind up at. In a fucking body bag. With a toe, with a, with a, with a, with a motherfucking toe tag, nigga. I don't care, fuck. Now, this bus is running a little late now, but that's cool. I still want to run for this motherfucker, though. I still may have to. See, I'm still tipsy from last night and shit. Wobbling out here and shit. At least my head's, my head's uh, acting right. That's good to know. Yeah, so I'm just on some rant shit. I just feel like making a rant. You know. On mother the bus now. All right, see you on my bus. Let me mask up, and I'll talk to y'all later.